here by popular demand. Everybody's telling me to come here. Le industry, le industry, electric oven pizza. Let's go eat. All right, everybody's been telling me, go to le industry. Go to le industry. Le industry, le industry. I don't know if I'm even saying it right. I think I am, but uh, look, guys, what matters is, how does their pizza taste? People are telling me, go. The pizza's off the charts. So I got two slices. It's, it's a slice shop made in an electric oven. From the looks alone, I'm already getting a little uh, excited. Starting to get excited, guys. Things are starting to get perky, salivating. This is my type of pizza. When I see char on the crust like that, when I see air pockets, when, when there's air pockets already made evident, uh, I start to get excited. So let's go and grab one here. I'm expecting good things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's what you want to hear when you fold a pizza, guys. That's what you want to hear. That's what you want to hear. Crackling. Crackling. A little greasy. It's olive oil. But it's olive oil, guys. And look at that on the carriage. That's what you want on the bottom of a pizza crust. Leopard skin char. Oh, wow. You would never know this thing is made in an electric oven. It's smoky. It's got a nice smoky element to it. Nice little bitterness in all that char. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's my type of crust. A little light on sauce. Look at those air pockets, guys. Air pockets. Get a nice fluffy center, crispy on the outside. This, my friends, is not a same day dough. They took time with this dough. They let it sit for at least two days to get at this area at least two days okay ladies and gentlemen let's move on in and analyze this pretty good pizza pretty pretty good pizza the star of the show that puffy goodness right there look at all those air pockets guys When you, eat a, when you eat a crust like this, it gives the pizza volume. You get that fluffy bite, that pillowy bite, and you get the crisp as well. Unlike thin crusts where they're all crisp, there's nothing pillowy about the pizza. When you eat a pizza, especially a New York style pizza, which this is, you want a little pillowy. You want it to start out thin, and it gradually, gradually thickens up until it gets nice and puffy at the back end. Nice and charred. You wouldn't think this is an electric pizza, man. Electric oven pizza. Cooked in an electric oven. You just wouldn't know it because uh, of that char, guys. Look at that. Woo-wee. The basil is okay. Uh, not exactly the Fara basil. I don't know what it is, but the Fara Lucali. There's Lucali and the Fara basil. And then there's everything else basil. Then there's everybody else's basil. I've yet to taste basil like I have at the Fara. Including the second location at the Fara. They use pretty good stuff there too. Um, not the most pungent basil, but an abundance of it. The cheese was pretty good. It had a little bit of tang to it. It was creamy. Good low moisture. Not a greasy low moisture. Mozzarella. It was good quality low moisture. As you can see... Uh, it's a little white in color. There's a little bit of orangeness to the cheese, but that's because they throw a lot of grated cheese on there. And when they put the grated cheese on the pizza, there's some of it there. It soaks up some of the oil, and the pizza can get a little orange. 
I think the most orange slice, the most orange colored slice I've ever seen was Scars. Their regular uh, low moisture slice because they put a ton of that grated cheese on there. And I love that. For me, if a peach is going to be in the eights or higher, I need to see some of that grated cheese sprinkled on the slice. Like right there. Now, the only drawback of this pie, of, of the slice, of the slices, was the sauce. Uh, I, I, I don't see much of it. Very little sauce on this pizza. As you can see, it, it kind of dried out towards the back there because there's just so little of it. So the cheese to sauce ratio was a bit off. Guys, as good as that crust was, it was a little bit on the dry side. I, it needed more sauce. The cheese to sauce ratio was off. Uh, basil wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. So I'm going to give it a 7-9. This is a 7-9 pizza. It's the pizza that almost could. It's the pizza that just came in third place, you know, by like a little bit. 7-9. Uh, it, it almost made second place. You know what I'm saying? But it's not quite there. But it, it does... Uh, uh, it still makes the podium. Uh, so uh, I, I do recommend it if you're in town. But uh, with Best Pizza two minutes away, two minutes drive away, you got Frank Pinello's joint right here. Uh, if you're looking for pizza and you're in this neighborhood, go to Best Pizza. Uh, that's one of the best pizzas. <laughs> Uh, at least one of my favorite pizzas of all time. Uh, but this was really good. The crust was delicious. The crust was delicious. Anyways, guys, that's a review. Le Industry. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Go out and try it, man. Something different. You want to, you know, it's a different pizza experience. Crusts like that, they're rare. Because, you know, we're, we live in New York. Pizzerias don't have time to let dough sit, on, sit in the refrigerator for two days and ferment. So... You know, pizzerias that take time to ferment their dough so it gets nice and airy like that. I, I appreciate them, you know. I appreciate that, man. So uh, go out and try this place. Definitely try it at least. You may like it better than I did. Be well, guys. Hit that like. Smash that bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. Until next time, keep those bellies full, preferably with some good-ass pizza. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.